beautiful morning here in sweet Jamaica. I'm in Montego Bay at the famous Pinches Bar and Grill with Jamaica Food Boss yet again. And I am so excited for today because this is a famous place for all kinds of jerk, all kinds of seafood. And they are getting going early here and keeping seriously busy. There's a ton of food being put on the grill right now. Anyway, we're gonna go inside, catch up with Matt, the food boss himself, and hopefully get to link up with Pinches also and Chef Andrew. That's one of the pun chicken, jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. I mean, jerk you can look, unlike yesterday, this one not stuffed, but the marinade, all of the pepper and everything on it. Pimenta has been crushed and you know that's the main ingredient in the jerk. Have to have some pimenta on it and it just soak her and nice. This is one of the best jerk chickens I've had. And this is one of the best jerk chicken in Mogia town right now. One of the best in Jamaica. Hey Matt, what can you tell me about Pinchas here? Pinchas is just a vibe. Today we're here for Chef Manzi doing Saturday sizzle down here. Pinchas have him in restaurant here and him. Usually before COVID time is a good vibe. Pinchas is a old school DJ that used to run Moby nice. with a lot of oldies and them thing there. So him start a little restaurant and thing. And it's just a good vibe. You have people coming down and picking up food, him selling out. You have different type of food. You have rice and peas. You have, you have the good yam, banana, all of that. And he must have seafood Fridays. Him, him doing a lot of things with a lot of food down here. So it's a thing what we love because the cooking nice. It's not only about doing a lot of things, the food is good. And then Andrew now, Andrew has won the jerk championship, I think, once. And since that, his thing is just blown up. He's some of the best jerk pork that I've had and some of the best jerk chicken that I've had right there. Yeah, man. So you guys got going pretty early this morning. What time do people start showing up? Well, normally people would be start showing up long time ago. Ah. Long time ago. <laughs> we are wake up early for right now. So it goes. <laughs> Always off a hitch. Yeah. Nothing can run smooth for island time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. But I'm sure somehow everything is going to work out just fine. Everything is going to be so fine. <laughs> Gotta make sure enough chicken is on the grill. Yeah. And I gotta watch my elbow here near these hot, hot drums. Careful, you get with Always done wicked with charcoal. Proper charcoal. So Andrew, I hear you're a jerk champion. Yes I am. How does one become a jerk champion? I, well what they do they have they have competitions right across the country, so they go parish by parish. And then you know we enter competitions, who has the best recipe and whatever. So I did the whole tour. You know, so at the finals in the Montego Bay Jerk Championship in 2019, I was awarded best jerk chicken. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just a thing. What was your trick, or is that a secret? It's a secret. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Any advice for anyone who was wanting to become the jerk champion? Well, anything you do, you gotta put love into it. If you don't love what you do, then, you know what I'm saying? So, the, the love that you put in it comes back in the food. So, that's, that's the only, that's the best thing you can do. So when you're doing it, you gotta put love in it. That's the secret recipe. <laughs> Coming along nice, Andrew. Yes, sir. How often are you opening it up? Or are you trying to leave it shut? Or just doesn't yeah. matter? Really? Well, not really. We just ensure that there's not enough, too much fire at the bottom to get it start burning or to get sticking to the grill. So you just keep on making sure you keep on moving them around. But you try to keep it closed as often because you want it to steam as well. You know what I'm saying? For the flavors to go right through the meat. That's how you get the juiciness. Yes, sir. Fresh, fresh lobster, still jumping. Just come out of water. Hatch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you get get clipped? Yeah, often, you man. Get often, often, man. Yeah? I get a lot of joke. <laughs> but I suppose it's you like get nothing. You toughen up pretty quick after. Yeah, man. It's times. like nothing, man. I get a lot of joke, you know. Just like a beekeeper getting stung by yeah, a bee. Yeah, man. A lot hey, of it isn't a thing anymore. 
So how many fishermen does it take to catch this many? Oh, this one pot. One so pot? One pot? Yeah, one one pot? Pot. No way. things going in the soup? Oh. Cow skin. Cow skin. Cow skin, nice. Yeah. So you get the cow skin, you sort of make your stock first. Yeah. And then everything else comes after. Watch out. I see a uh, Mary Grudgeful. Oh, that's what Moko awesome. calls them, Mary, Mary Grudgeful. Grudge yeah, they stink up and they try and get in your pot and fuck everything up. Yeah, you guys call it Mary Grudgeful in Mobe too? Stink Moko. Just stink Moko. <laughs> Good thing he's behind. Yeah. Mm. Yay! It works on everything. It's true. We never hate on Maggie. You got the festivals going on? Is this the festival? Maybe? No, the festival, it, it's the dumping. This dumping. is one for the soup. Okay. Yeah, man, this is for the sip. Yeah. So I saw the cow skin go in the sip. What else is going in the sip? Oh, we're going to have some chicken foot along with it too. Oh, and man. some turkey neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got three meat soup. Yeah. <laughs> chicken foot, turkey neck, and cow skin. Damn. I'm going to go on with a bag of things. So Matt, what's the most common way to get lobster in Jamaica, would you say? Just get it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, you t anyway I get it, yeah. this is how we get it. Like people say, so you get it, so you sell it. Yeah. So we get it, so we eat it. We cook it right away. As fresh as you see them outside, the best way is to get it and prepare it right away, no matter how you do. Some people boil it, some people just put it on the fire straight like that, like a bun finger style. Others will just cook it down in garlic and stuff like that, garlic butter. Most people in this side will grill lobsters a lot as well. So smother some garlic on it, grate some of that stuff and lob it down and then just put it on the fire and grill it out for a little bit and that just nice right off of the grill. Some people even put it in foil so it's steam in there, stuff it with different veg as well. All heap of different ways you can do it. It's versatile. For the Escovich? Yeah. How did it get the name Escovich? I, I was confused at first. I thought Escovich was the name of a fish. It's Spanish. It's called it from Spanish. So it's called from Escaviche. Yeah. Which is part of the Jamaican Spanish influence because Christopher Columbus came and rediscovered Jamaica, saw the Arawaks here. So that part comes from the Spanish influence of Escaviche, is what it was called, or what the Spanish name for it is. And with anything, you know, Jamaica put for them flavor. We had the scotch bonnet pepper and call it Esco Beach. Yeah. So it's carrot, onion, scotch bonnet pepper. Is it some vinegar in it as well? Yeah. And you just let it marinate and it goes great. Any type of fish, right? Any type of seafood. Yeah. yeah some wicked scotches. And I saw these growing right on the yard here too. So there are some fresh picked too. That See, I wanted conch for so long, and yeah, you really have to catch it in season, and it can be a rarity, so that's extra bonus get to try that one today. Yeah, that's the Escovich sauce, so just a light touch of heat on it, bring out some of the sweetness of the onions, make that pepper flavor soak into them as well and also to just a light snap so it's almost al dente with the carrots as well so just a light snap put a little seasoning or something in there some people put sugar there's all sorts of little secrets that people put their own escovit sauce you can put pimento in there as well and once that comes now it just pours right onto the lobster and it'll go soak up the flavor so the lobster flavor with the escovit can't wait for that man my belly a rumble right now you can tell us that it is, this is outer band comp. Outer band comp different and inner band comp. Oh yeah, how do you tell? I can just look and tell um, based on the consistency of it. Yeah. Um, how it looks, it's a lot more tough. It comes from deeper waters. The inner band comp tends to be a lot softer and wouldn't really stick up as much. Don't need a longer cook process. And that's the one that you really should make if you eat it 
live or, 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 or make a salad with it or anything like that. Some ceviche type, that's the one, the inner bank is what's normally used because it's more tender. This one, you can't see it, pick up it, it's tough. It come from the outer banks and probably was shipped into Jamaica. Nice. What's going on in this pot over here? Uh, we're doing some brown stew, brown stew fish. Ah, nice. So we're doing a little bit of brown stew fish, that's all. For breakfast. You know. What goes into the sauce when you're making the brown stew? Well, the brown stew, you have um, the brown in you, put a little bit of Irish, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of onion, okay. the tops of pepper, because you know most people don't like that much peppery taste. Uh -huh. you know, you know, a little bit of seasoning and you go. Yeah. So the same one that you could do a brown stew chicken with as well? Yeah, or, most definitely, but yeah. the, the difference with it is that you doing the brown stew chicken, you would um, put the brown in on the chicken uh -huh. instead okay. of boiling the sauce and all See. that. So yeah. this is more like you'll serve it on top after? Right. Right, yeah. Fry it and then put it in there. Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> so this is the pork section. Yes, sir. Woo. Oh, man. How different is it cooking for a mass amount of people compared to just making it for a couple? Because I, I cook enough by myself, but it's certainly a whole other deal once. It's it, it, ta it takes a lot more effort, you know what I'm saying? It puts a lot of pressure on you because especially when you're trying to get the flavor right just the same, doing in large quantities, yeah. you really got to pay attention. And have every piece come up the same way as exactly. you're intending, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's... So you just, it does, it's all about preparation though. Yeah. So it starts from the prepping to the cooking process, the time, everything. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are sensing that scotch bonnet just frying away with the lobster. You can just scent it everywhere you go. It's sort of getting infused into the lobster. And there's some garlic pieces floating around in there too. We just switched the uh, element from a high heat to a lower heat. And you can see the lobster just starting to turn red, that lovely orange red color. And yeah, my belly is grumbling so much. I don't know how we're gonna handle this. We have pork, chicken, lobster, and soup to try all in one. There might even be a couple other things too, so. Well, anyway, I'm ready. I didn't eat, I didn't eat breakfast delivered this, this morning because I knew I was coming here with Matt, so I'm well prepped for this meal to come up. So getting towards the end of it, what sauce it did you just put on? Um, so we have some homemade jerk sauce ah. that we use to base it, help with the um, cooking process. Nice. So it's what we also use to marinate the chicken. So right towards the end, give it a little, little spray yep. just to juice it up just even nicer. Up. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, this is nice. We can go look at the sheep and water inside. Oh, just a bunch of steam off, cool off, a little bath of Escovitch. See how the juicy taste is all tight, you know? So everything just kind of soak in the way to see, you know? It's all like flavor. Yeah. Creep up now and then it feels like every time you do that, some of the seasoning gets back ah. onto it. So, so it every time it feels like it's any flavor that secretes out it that come out that just goes right back into it. I decide you okay for now. It's like you said, man, look at al dente still. Just a quick heat up, not too much so it's soft. It's still gonna yeah, have, so a you have a little crunchy taste. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think I've had lobster since I went to Hellshire Beach with Matt two years ago, so. This is my first lobster experience in some time, so I'm feeling extra blessed today. Long time, you know, you know lobster. Time, Long time. Escovich lobster. I think the last time we had it, it was Escovich as well. Yeah, same time. Yeah, well, we can have one now and try a different one later. Oh but. my God. <laughs> we have a whole heap of food to go through. Like, look at the size of this. I think this is gonna be my only one for the day. That's for scale. Boom. Yeah, man, it, it, it's a go on with our bag of things, and 
the escovite smell upon it already. You saw the sauce go onto it and it's smothered right in there. So, shall we dig in? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can. How do you tackle it first? Why, anyway, tail, you find hands, meat, you know, whatever. Find meat. Pull it out as one big piece of tail. One big chunk, oh. see it coming right out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. You know, whoa. I'm sending lo lobster flying everywhere. So you can see the nice chunk of meat does come out. I'm just doing a big I'm twist here. Let's go eat sauce on it. There we go. Yeah, man. Well, proper. All right. You can look at it. Cheers, Matt. Thanks for hosting me. Thank you. You got Escobi sauce on it? Mmm. Oh, it is. Nice, nice kick on it, too. Nice already. kick of the sauce and everything mm -hmm. on it. My big piece rather than the 100%. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, man. And that little bit of crunchiness from the Escovich. Just like you said, you, you don't want it A little too crispy much. part right there. Mm -hmm. So right there, how about a little crispy? And it pops with flavor. So sometimes the seasoning burn onto it. Mm -hmm. I have a nice crispy taste. And the carrot and the onion really get infused with the scotch bonnet. With the scotch bonnet. It completely covers it. Even though you're not cooking it long, you're not even letting it sit long. Oh, oh, the whole one yeah. in the plate. So the whole scotch bonnet go in there. And mm. it just infuses into the meat, into every corner, every crevice. You saw when he kept on smothering it and put it on mm -hmm. it. I mean, it was just something that, like, it's another bath. After that oil, because the scotch bonnet is in the oil as well. So after the oil, to smother it right back onto it, trust me. Oh my God. Mm. Now I skipped breakfast, like I said, deliberately, because I know I was meeting up with you. And mm -hmm. I'm Good. glad I did because <laughs> this is not a little lobster to start with. Good God. And this is our first round, so. Mm -hmm. mm. So there's that crispiness. Yeah, man, little chunks right mm. there. Mm -hmm. Just a little burn flavor and a little char taste with it. A little crunch. So that's our round one. Yeah, man. And I love Still how the on some of this. and the color of the pepper or the carrot turns almost like a light orange. It's a completely yeah, different. Yeah, it's a completely different. Color. Almost yellow, right? Yeah, man. It, it changed color. So we have the Scotch bonnet, my favorite flavorful pepper. Scotchy, man. So I'm calling the Scotch bonnet pepper the people's pepper because it's flavorful. It's not to kick your ass hot. Just a really nice addition to everything. It's versatile. And even if you're not a super spice fan, you're still gonna enjoy a little bit. So if you're not a spice person, it's a very good pepper to get you on that spice ladder. All right, Matt's waiting for his plate. I'm just gonna jump in. Not rudely, he's right here. He doesn't mind. <laughs> but Look at that crispiness. It is perfectly juicy. You can see those chewy, chewier sections. A little bit of extra jerk sauce. A couple of fresh festival. But we gotta give this a sample here. Oh my. Man. Well. One of my favorite pan chicken is Yalis. Another favorite for jer jerk or pan place is what we had in Granville, but this one is insane. And yeah, they all do vary a little bit in their own way. Like slight differences. People have their own favor. Mm -hmm. Man, a certain barbecue sauce flavor on it too. Oh mm, my God. And the perfect festival. So soft, so fluffy. Mm. Wow. Yeah, we're doing serious damage here. Feeling good, feeling great. I don't know what's coming next, the conch, or the pork, or the soup. I still have room, I don't know, I'm feeling very confident. You know, spend a bit of time with Food Boss and your appetite just naturally sort of expands. Hey, where'd it go? What the hell is this? I got scammed. We're about to get a jerk chicken tasting. It's all gone. So how was it anyway? It was really good. I, I mean, I just run through it. I was supposed to take home some for Amanda, but you get what the duck get. No. no, man. 
it, it, this one is different than the first one that we had. The first one that we had had all of that flavor that was stuffed in. This one you can tell that it have a lot of pimento in it. Real jerk chicken have pimento in there. Pimento is one of the most important ingredients important ingredients in the jerk the spice it's the spice of Jamaica the flavor of Jamaica and once you have that pimento soaked in there like that trust me man it make you all sweat I'm gonna tell you all the time good food make you sweat and that's some good jerk chicken one of the best and he only does it once a month down here what? so we're lucky enough oh to catch God. it today at him do it so hats off to the chef man big up with the jerk and him, him keep he keep the flavors coming the pimento berries pop in your mouth just like that lobster that we had those little charred parts just full of flavor especially when you put some heat on that pimento berry and then all of the natural seasonings of the onion the scotch bonnet pepper i don't know i can't tell you his secret ingredients to the, to the jerk itself but when all of that fused together and the smoke jamaica you have to have smoke when you're there jamaica so when all of that infused and come together man it's just something special something airy that's why it, it, it not did a for last <laughs> Yeah, cook yeah, too once, long once the, the okra is in, yeah, man. you know it can you know, only... You know, we're coming to prime time. It's almost ready. How's it tasting, guys? Yeah, very coming delicious. In. Perfect. Mm. Yep. It's what that cow skin. Yeah. And chicken foot. Chicken yeah. foot. Step on. Step, step is turkey. Turkey. That's a turkey, turkey. neck. Oh, turkey and turkey, turkey, turkey neck. neck. Yeah. Wow. I've had cow foot. I've had... Chicken foot and turkey neck, but never all together. Never all together. No, no, no. The triple yeah, bread. The triple, tri the trifecta, all in one right there. Everything coming together in a one pot. Steppers. All right, I don't want to step us in our minds. You know. you know, we're talking about Pato in different parishes. When yeah. I said steppers down in St. Thomas, no one knew what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, we call it steppers here as well. Uh, yeah, man. But not down there, so only. Only, the only. On Spinners, yeah. Right. But for, the, for, but for the chicken foot, they call them steppers here, right? Yes. Steppers? Oh, oh, I mean the chicken foot. Yeah. Okay. Steppers. Other well, place in Jamaica may be different. In Clarendon, they call it baby toe. Baby toe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gold. I have a baby toe soup. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, man. Curry conk. Curry conk. Yeah, man. First conk ever. I've been waiting and First waiting. time you're having conk? First time ever in my like, whole seriously? life. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. It's dude. really good. 100%. I mean, you can look at it. The curry conk. There you go. Come on. Wow. Nice. Oh. That's conk? Yeah, man. That's really good. It's very meaty tasting. Very meaty. I did not nice. think I was expecting way more slime. Not slime, <laughs> but seafood. You know, I was thinking maybe more like a. I don't know what I was thinking. Something with with, with a little flavor, almost like an oyster, a oyster flavor. Something a little, of the sea, a little more. A little bit, yeah. I mean, it's versatile. It's a meat it that is. you can put flavors on, and it still has a little sweetness to it, to it itself. It's almost okay. So to me, it's almost like a scallop, but a little. Different texture, maybe more steak like texture. It's more steak like, well, uh -huh. that comes because this one is a deep sea one. Mm. So, this is the outer bank one. So, it's it, a lot more tougher, more firm than the inner bank one would okay. be. And then you get a piece of breadfruit chip with it. Mm -hmm. So, I go hand in hand with it. Nice piece of breadfruit. Roast. Roast. Fried. 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 Roast. Roast and fried. fried. Roast and fried. <laughs> Big up Chi Ching Ching. Roast are fried. Yeah. yeah, I guess I would. The closest thing I can think of is kind of like a scallop, but unique. Man, snail, mm -hmm. sea creature, whatever they want, call it. Man, I mean this one though, like curry brings up. Curry is a very heavy flavor, so I mean the curry going mm -hmm. give you a whole leap of its own flavor in itself. So you, it will take away from the the seaness of it or, or the seafoodiness of the conch itself. True. But yeah, the sauce is so nice, and yeah. I did get a shot. I guess he was kind of halfway through cooking where he poured a whole bunch of coconut milk oh, so all over it. So 
That's where we're getting the nice. I guess an adequate sweetness all the time. Yeah, a little well. bit of sweetness. Yeah, man. But it doesn't taste overpowering coconut. No. When you, you don't it. have a lot of coconut mm. in there. You don't taste it like it pull out like a rundown or something. When mm -hmm. it. Man, that is so steak like. I can't believe it. This has been absolutely incredible. First conch, amazing jerk chicken. Yeah, Definitely man. in my top three jerk chicken experiences of my whole life. And I'm losing my mind. What else do we have? Lobster. Lobster? Oh my god, I could. Yeah, man. <laughs> I almost forgot the lobster, but this place is absolutely crazy. So you got to come here only on uh, Saturday to catch Andrew cooking. Only is on the true? last Saturday okay. of every month. So, so highly recommended if you're coming here. I mean, check it any time, but if you really want, this is a, if you want something special, come here when Andrew's here the last Saturday, yeah, and it is well worth it. So phenomenal, a wicked food experience. And we still have one more. Yeah, oh I'm try God. the jerk pork. Jesus. <laughs> okay, there's one more. Yes, Andrew, this has been insane today. Yeah, I can't believe crazy, it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Feeling it. Jerk champion for a reason. Yes, sir. There's no messing around here. This is as real as it gets. And uh, thanks for making me feel like somewhat of a local. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know. it. <laughs> this is for those who know, though. This place. Yeah, yeah, man. For those who know. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you wanna you wanna dig in, man? Yeah. Or you guys, did you just sauce it. Yeah. So, so this is special barbecue jerk sauce, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But then you want to get the natural flavors out of it first, you know okay, what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just we'll gonna put it to the side. Yeah, sure. put it to the side, huh? we'll Try natural first. Yeah. We're going like, come on, this, yeah, this, this, man. this is not tourist jerk pork, we like to say. Yeah. It's a local jerk pork. Real so local. You know, it's a spicy night already. Yeah. It's have to have the spice, it's have a lot of pimento, pepper. all of that. And it's been on there, what, three hours now? Slow cooking? Yeah, they're about three, three and a half hours. Man. Melting over more a while. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, man, you gotta try this, man. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it just, it's picture perfect. Crispy on the outside, juicy Yo. on the inside. Little bit Look of fat on the edge Look at the smoke there. ring around it as well. You can actually see the smoke ring around it, that thing. True. Some serious smoke. The entire mm -hmm. day, they hot so. and rot to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh man. You know when the fatty part just sticks to your mouth? Oh my god. That's insane. I gotta try it with the sauce too. You just know, try it with the sauce now? Mm. Oh my god. That's crazy just on its own though. That one? Yeah. On its own? <laughs> it popped. <Yeah. laughs> the flavors that burst in there. Mm. All of that pimento and all of that seasoning that's put in there, it's all right through and it's it juicy, not dry or anything yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Gotta go for this sauce here. Yeah. And this is your own sauce that you make, Andrew? That's right. And From you, scratch. And you do all your own catering, so if anyone wants to hire you, we'll link below. We give Andrew a call on this number. Absolutely. You got, so make sure to give Andrew a call if you're looking for any, any kind of catering from grilling, weddings, office functions, birthday parties, nice. everything. And I 100% I endorse that. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah man, man. Go ahead that too. Some of that sauce on that. The sweetness of that sauce at Kwan. Mm. Pepper and that sauce too. Yeah. Man, unbelievable. Finger licking. Wow. It tastes a pepper in the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not, it's not just like fucker pepper, sorry. <laughs> no. A scotch bonnet. Swearing's allowed in Russia. It's kitchen. scotch bonnet. <laughs> It's actually my first meal from day. What? Yeah, first time. Damn. Normally when you're cooking, you really don't get a chance to eat, you know? But then the, the food, the cooking just fully fills you up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Smoke, fill your belly before you can get to eat. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for having me. I appreciate it so much. It's been yeah, it amazing. Pleasure, man. I will absolutely be back. Food box. Up every time, another brother. crazy, yeah, crazy man. day. And definitely check out Matt's channel, Jamaica Food Boss. If you don't know, you probably already do know, but definitely check him out for all kinds of Jamaican food tours. Been doing YouTube videos for a while now. He's got wicked stuff. And if you're in Jamaica and want to go on a tour, 
you do have the opportunity to get Matt to show you around. So big up to Matt and everyone here in Montego Bay for their kindness and amazing food. Bless up, we'll see you soon. Bless up, oh. No, I still got food. <laughs> <laughs>